so the market hits the artistic profits. And now you're wondering, now what next? We had a double top. So let me let me try to delete so that you can have a clear page. You have this double top neckline. TP has been hit. CSB broken. You can see CSB broken, half broken. Like this market was easy to trade. And that's how you trade a sell trade. Now the question is, when the market comes to the neckline, majority will be waiting for this neckline to be broken because they are now glued. They are glued to this um, double bottom, uh, the double top and the neckline. And they are thinking, if they can only break my neckline, what will happen, the market will go to half. So let me wait for my neckline to be broken so that I can re-enter again. But you need to understand at that time where the neckline is, the market has activated a new pattern, a double bottom. It's called a shifting pattern, a pattern that comes from a double top, now it's a double bottom. So we, we are from a double top, now we have entered to a double bottom. If this double bottom is that powerful, it's not supposed to be on the four hour because you're on the three hour. But if you go to the four hour, if you go to the four hour, it is there. Automatically, the market will not be coming up. They will still continue to sell. And that's what you should understand. How to trade a weak double bottom? How do you trade a weak double bottom? And that's being said, when you now remain on three hour, you're waiting for an entry either a current support or the market to, to give this double top because we are still looking for sale. We have identified we cannot look for buy because this double bottom is still available for our making it weak. So you wait another three hours so you get you get a, a resistance. So it's either they break this resistance so they have created a resistance for you and then you wait again for them to create a support for you. So you have both current resistance and current support. And you're saying, if this market breaks above, it means buyers are stronger. And still we cannot look for buy opportunity even if they break because they can activate here. But if they start breaking down, it means the sellers are more powerful. So you can see what is happening. The market refuses to break down and start to range around that area. So you can see what happens is that after the market uh, attempt to break, it does not break. Can you see? Does not break. So it does not break above, it does not break below. And what happens? We get a very big, big uh, candle and it goes directly to the half, meaning they are done with this pattern. Because I always tell you guys that the market will go to a half. So uh, many times the market will not get to our half. Many other times the market will not get to our half. So at the end of the day, you will find that they, uh, they will do not get to TP2. It will only go to our half. So when the market now is like that, you see the way they, they, they follow double top. OPT is very strong. One pattern on one time frame. The reason why that market continued to sell is because this double top was only on three hours. Now it has, according to many people, they think the, the neckline has been broken and they want to continue selling. But if you didn't notice that they have the guaranteed take profit has been hit, you will be, I don't know what you will do. So what happens is that if you flip on the four hour, the market does they have a break, but you don't know why the market, what will do, what will happen next. You go to the daily time frame. there's nothing like a double bottom. So the market is still going down. Four hours, nothing is happening. Three hours, you're confused. The TP has been hit, now headed to TP2, which is not guaranteed. So you are skeptical. You don't want to enter a trade. You go to two hours. Two hours have broken. There's nothing to get along. So if you if you stop and you're ignorant and you say, I, I don't know what's happening and you fail to go to one hour, that's exactly what the banks want. So they will hide a pattern. What, you, what has happened? They have hidden the double bottom on one hour. So they hide it on that one hour 
and they know when we place that double bottom on one, our majority will never see it. And that's exactly what the banks want. So a double top that came from three hours, now we are dealing with one hour. So we have, let me delete everything and start afresh. So there's this double top that is not on any other time frame, meaning it's a very, very powerful double, double bottom. So even if you want to keep selling, these are some of the things that will let you know, if I want to sell, I cannot sell anymore. Why? Because this market can active, can give me a buy opportunity. And when buyers come, they are very strong. You can see the market has RBS here, meaning the buyers are very, very strong. So if this market breaks our neckline, what do you think will happen? And this, you, you know, this is a pattern on only one time frame. So it, if it breaks the neckline, what do you think will happen? The market will go to our half of that distance. So you are, you are analyzing the trade like that. So which pattern will you use? Which strategy? You'll use C, C, R, B strategy. You'll use C, R, B strategy. So as you use C, R, B strategy, you'll be waiting for that, that. So you're waiting for current support, current support. So you're just waiting for current support you get, you don't, you, you're waiting for a red candle. And once you get that red candle, you can put your resistance um, in place so that you can be waiting for that current resistance to break. And as you're waiting, so almost breaking down, almost breaking down, and eventually the market gives you a buy trade. Imagine how easy that market is. So yes, you have the mind of selling, but automatically everything changes and you start buying. How many pips are those? 66 pips. And you continue buying until the market hits its take profit. So once the market hits the take profit, it breaks our half. So again, you come and do a buy trade like that. And then you wait again for the TP of the neckline to break. And then what you do, once the TP has hit, they break the neckline. Again, what do you do? You come and re-enter by trade there. So this market is strong, why? Because it's one pattern on one time frame. And imagine all along you're trading one hour and that's how that trade went. So if you're, if you're using, if you're using, uh, stop loss, always use ATR to know the right places to, because this one, when you entered by, you see, you cannot come and put your stop loss around an area where you can have a double bottom. So you will be careful if the market can create a double bottom, I want my stop loss a bit lower. So don't say, oh, your stop loss was hit. You always use ATR to identify. Let's see if that market eventually hit the take profit to the end. And this, this, this is not a guarantee. TP2 is not a guarantee. This one is always guarantee. The question is, how did this trade start? It started when you wanting to sell, but the market bought. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that majority, ma majority of the time you would want to sell a market, but you will find out that the, that market has a buy trade opportunity even more than a sell. So what I want you to do is not to be biased when you're trading. You just need to have rules in your hands so that if one rule say this, you can be able to say, if one rule say buy, you can be able to follow a CRB strategy up to the end. If a double top is only on one time frame, you even gain more confidence on that trade. In these two, I have splitted this because I wanted to finish on the first lesson. So make sure you watch the both lessons because I will upload them differently. Make sure you watch the continuation of this is just to allow you to know how did this market, uh, how did it end up? And if I'm doing all this, this becoming lesson uh, 90 what? 
this is 99. This is a continuation of lesson 98. I didn't, I was not able to finish. That's why I said, let me finish it. As we are looking forward for the last lesson, for me, I would really pray God that as I do the last lesson, it will be more practical. Like that's my prayer, that the last lesson will be more of practical. Thank you so much, guys. See you in lesson 100. Bye-bye. Love you.